Well, welcome back to the Care Barn that has been packed ever since uh, the show started. In fact, since the seven o'clock hour. And we're really, really excited to have a chef that is from Minnesota, but of course has made a big national splash. Amy Thielen, everyone. Of course, James Beard winning chef, Amy Thielen, I should say. So on the Food Network, the show was called Heartland Table on from 2013 to 2015. And it was all based on uh, your, your, it was done at your home there in Park Rapids. And I know uh, Julie Nelson came up and met you right when it kind of splashed. What was that like? It was great. It was great to make Ju meet Julie Nelson. <laughs> and, you know, this whole show was fantastic. It was um, a great experience. Uh, Kind of wild being on TV, but you know I live out in the woods, so that's good exposure for me, right? And this is good. <laughs> and we got to show people how beautiful that northern Minnesota is, and we got, of course, a Lord Betker over here shilling all of your pistachios. I love it. And you came up with this cookbook, and it actually comes out on Tuesday, and it's all about comfort food. So what a gorgeous book! Tell us about that. Yes, this book is called Company, and it's a menu cookbook. So there are 20 menus and over 100 recipes, about 120 recipes that are set in menus, and it's about cooking for other people. So we have groups, menus that are uh, groups uh, for cooking for groups of six to eight to 10 to 12, and then there are a couple of menus that are for like bigger parties. Oh, well that's all about Minnesota, these big gatherings, and no, no stress, because you have the whole menu all laid out, which I love. Okay, so what are you making for us today? So today I am making, I'm making something that is uh, very simple, and super in season, I brought a bunch of tomatoes from my garden, and I'm making a recipe called tomato on tomato salad. There could be nothing simpler, but prob it's probably also the most chef-y recipe in the book. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, because it's so simple that it's all about minding the details. And, you know, it's, there's not a lot of, like, extraneous weird things on it. You know, it's just, like, marinated cherry tomatoes on uh, beefsteak tomatoes, and then we're going to do a little bit of crushed pistachio. I've got my handy, uh, my, my friend here who I've... Sous chef. <laughs> sous chef, Laura Betker. Sous chef. All right, so you're cutting up, and look at, I just have to say, we have to yeah. show that these are all from your garden there, and look at how, and a lot of people have just barrels and barrels of those tomatoes right now as well, and so you're cutting up a bunch of the beautiful little cherry tomatoes, yeah. then you have this gorgeous beefsteak that's ready to roll, yeah. so tell us how this works. And I'm going to marinate them when they're cut in half in salt, pepper, lemon juice, a little bit of lemon zest. Okay. Yeah. And then basil, okay? And we're gonna let that sit on the countertop for, oh, and a little bit of garlic. Here's some peeled garlic. I'm Can't gonna... have enough garlic. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, raw garlic is kind of intense and strong, so you just wanna do a little bit, but I like to grate it. Just kind of slap it in there. So here right. we go. We have about a minute left, just to oh, let okay. you know. Of course, everything's always rushed on TV. We're not going to make it. But anyway, so then a little bit of lemon juice. Okay. And some olive oil. And don't be shy with the olive oil. Oh, that's lemon beautiful. juice. And then I also, I like to put a little bit of like, uh, where's these? Um, red pepper flakes. Okay. Okay. This is kind of optional, whether you like them or not. You know, pepper flakes vary a lot in strength, so sometimes they're really, really hot, and sometimes they're just super mild. And you want to pluck your basil right in there, and you want young basil. If you grow your own, you know, just keep topping it off. Just keep, like, taking it off so that fresh, nice, um, tender basil still keeps growing. I love it. Okay. Yep. And then... We are just going to oh, slice gonna, our tomatoes. You're gonna take that big one, I love it. Yeah, this is a beauty. So I grow, you know, different kinds of tomatoes. Look at that. Everyone's like, oh, <laughs> so good. This is a- They are like color. steaks, my they goodness. They are. We're just gonna slice these out. All right. We're gonna do multi, a whole bunch of different colors. What you want is just like beautiful, beautiful colors that everybody's going to, they're not gonna be able to resist it. It's gonna be so pretty. All right. Well, we're going to let you continue then. You're going to yeah. put this on top and then the pistachios go on top of that. Is that how it That's works? That's kind of how it goes. Oh, yes. My we're just going to here. I'll do one really well, quick. Well, let's uh, once again, you have a, a big gathering coming up for your cookbook. Tell us about that. Yes. So, Lily. next Tuesday my book comes out and then we have September 6th. I'm going to do a big opening launch party at, in Minneapolis at the Lynn Hall. At the 
Lynn Hall. Yep. That's going to be going on. All right, so we have all the information on that on our website at carolevin.com. We're going to wrap this up and make sure we have a final product for you, and we'll be right back from the Care Barn after this. <laughs>